If I am beyond senses, why can't I simply know myself without taking up a body? I am beyond the senses. Why do I need a body to know who am I? Like we keep saying, you know, human birth is uh, uh, most important and it is the only way to know my true nature. And why? I am the existence. I am that which pervades everything. Now, why do we need this tiny, whiny body <laughs> to know this much? Anybody wants to answer? Guruji, can I please attend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, we have studied that um, through the example about the pinhole, the existence need to uh, assert, like, like the pinhole can, that can understand the greater, otherwise all in a clutter of things are, we cannot understand anything. Hence, this body works as an instrument through which uh, the existence can be known better or in a better way. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good attempt by sweetie. Varun says, no body, no experience, no knowledge. No body, no experience, no knowledge. But look, the experience gives knowledge of the illusion. Not of the witness of the illusion, the experiencer. Why does it need all these things? That's what this question is asking. Leila is saying, we need a mind and experiences in order to reflect. That is um, a lot more convincing answer that uh, my own reflection tells me about myself. That which is experiencing tells me that there is an experiencer. It knows itself by reflecting itself in the experiences. What does it get? I'm going to ask Leila. Does it get? Uh, yeah. Elaborate on that a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. That uh, yeah. we are reflecting some ourselves in the in the form of experiences, but uh, we don't get the knowledge from that. We get ignorance. Ultimately, we end up assuming that I am this experience or I am that experience, and so on. It has a reverse effect. The correction is made by the guru in this process. You see, it it reflects itself through the experiences, that is true, but it does not get the knowledge of itself. The experiencer lands up in ignorance actually. So only the Guru can correct it. That look, <laughs> this process of reflecting is producing problems. So your answer is almost correct, but uh, it does not uh, give an exact answer to our question, which is about the experiencer. This process is happening. Yes, the reflection is happening, we say yes. But our question is asking something else, saying something else. So Rohit is saying, ignorance is in the mind and it can only be removed in the mind, so you need a body. And this is also a very acceptable answer. But again, experiencer, we are talking about the experiencer. You should first ask this question that whether experiencer has any ignorance or not. Look at the question, it is asking that how does the experiencer know? That means we are simply assuming that it does not know anything. It has ignorance. You are right about the mind. The mind has all the ignorance. It will have only the ignorance. You get some knowledge only when you completely wipe out the mind. You see, Wipe it clean and then you can see the emptiness behind it. So Rohit, very good attempt. But you see, I told you this is a very difficult question. Muni, because I need to know then I need a body. To be who am I? I do not need anything. Very good. Now, another acceptable answer. Look at the question that um, the experiencer can only be itself. It does not really need to know itself. That is the, <laughs> that is the assumption in the question that the experiencer really needs to know itself and then it assumes a body and tries to know itself. No, 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 no. That is the wrong assumption. It does not need to know itself. So, it does not take up the body for that purpose. And it is totally wrong to say that the experiencer takes up a body. The experiencer remains the experiencer. The body appears as an experience. It is not taken up by anything. So, you see lots of assumptions in this question. And this question is very standard actually. Everybody asks this question, isn't it? 
oh i am this and that i am the brahman you said i am this biggest thing in the existence and i have end up with this body which is causing troubles of all kinds this is very frequently asked question and there is a lot of ignorance behind the question itself that's why there is the question isn't it so muni's answer is also very good but let's see forward manvendra singh body is career of experience career of experience which leads to vishwajit totally wrong answer what is this mixing of sanskrit words here we don't know sanskrit in pure experiences graham to know something there has to be relation a body is needed for there to be a relation a body is an illusory restriction on the whole okay that is good you know it is it is this restriction it limits the experiences that is the role of the body but uh, and it is also true that to know something there has to be a relation so is the experiencer sitting there waiting for a relation to be formed so that it can know i am and that is and does not make any sense to me at least just like i said you need to simply know, uh, not assume that it wants to know anything it wants to form the relations among experiences and so on does not do that sri lakshmi yes there is no need it is just playing for no reason this is 99% right and you should add that the play is also not done by the experiencer it is not the doer it's not playing it is witnessing a play which it is which which it is itself it is being the play not doing the play it's not playing like a verb the play is a noun understand this much sri lakshmi pandurang is saying i am knowing myself itself i don't, don't need anything else but the person memory structure needs the body when the person is completely dissolved the knowing remains how are you so sure you see person is completely dissolved do you mean that it was already there as truth do you mean that the person is it is something true which is dissolved later on so it is already not there the person is already not there so what remains then probably wants to say that the truth is known my real nature is known when the person is dissolved no the person never dissolves only its fakeness is known it can live no it can c- continue living no problem it is an illusion this much is known will it dissolve it is already not there you see what is dissolve pandurama has also attempted it nicely the knowledge is needed by this structure memory structure that's all that is for survival we hack into this process of knowledge to know what i am that's all the human can do that experiencer does not do anything it does not need to know what it is it simply is being itself this much this was the correct answer actually benjamin is saying i guess you can know yourself without the senses but since there is only emptiness they will be meaningless very good like sweetie said something about pinhole camera and you open the pinhole and nothing <laughs> no image is formed the narrower the pinhole the sharper is the image so what happens is because there are infinite possibilities here in the existence it reduces itself to a body and little bit of senses which can sense only a little bit and that produces the experience which is meaningful but still the experiencer has nothing to do at all with it this process it is simply happening just as another possibility look at the question first lela is saying no experience doesn't have ignorance yes so if it doesn't have ignorance it does not need to go no also no knowledge no ignorance completely devoid of qualities that is my true nature so who needs knowledge here nobody <laughs> i don't need it i will never take up a body that will be disaster no because the body limits the experience actually covers up the real nature look at the question it is very complicated question satya i am beyond the senses there is no need to know since i am there is so can experience be ignorant experience are all there this is the right answer yes satya's answer is right satya is pandit now <laughs> never answers wrongly why don't you start your own satsang okay but she will probably as soon as she finishes the are you in the program or not i don't know vipin potential is manifested through body mind complex for a play very good answer yeah 
nobody needs to know anything <laughs> nobody needs to do anything it's all potential it's all empty already knowledge is a belief that something can be known is a belief knowledge is ignorance yes lela is saying i guess the answer is that we really don't know why it just is it simply is you see i said to assume that something can be known is already ignorance so all unknowable in the end and number 6 is simply um, explanation of this thing you know you can say it is add on question on the same topic that what is the what is true in case of the illusion now he got zero <laughs> he said nothing is true there but that is a correct answer but i am not asking that if you say the truth means the essence then yeah it's totally false essentially it is false but you see i am not asking that i am asking about some facts about the illusion so can somebody tell me two or three lines what are the facts about the illusion what do we know about the illusion what can be said truly about the illusion we know it is there that is one thing isn't it what else do we notice about it the truth of the false <laughs> yes lela is right false is always changing riddhi is saying the same thing graham is changing saying the same thing changes changes we know it change is the only thing that is true about the illusion probably not only but yeah shreya is saying it always changing it is an appearance yes. that is one other, another thing it is appearance temporary changing satya says any other thing do you notice about the illusion has anybody noticed that it is kind of temporary and changing but it is always there the illusion is always there <laughs> things in it changes isn't it the river is flowing yes but the river is always there the river of the illusion benjamin says perfection very good you know i was not expecting this the illusion is also also perfect nothing wrong there graham is saying it is relative very good yeah puni says never goes away yeah that's what i was saying no the river of the change never goes away why it is me ultimately at the non dual level it is me sri lakshmi says it is like a shadow of our own in this poetic answer <laughs> what do you mean by our own shadow of experiencer that is accept- acceptable it is the shadow of the experiencer that is also poetic but we know what what do you mean by that but our own what do you mean our own timeless shreya says yes timeless no place isn't it non local non temporal whatever analysis we have done of the experience applies here bitu pen is saying illusion is trying to get rid of illusion no 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 totally false tell me how it is doing who is trying to get rid of too much poetry today <laughs> who is trying to get rid of the illusion it is not it is trying to actually augment is trying to make it more complicated the devi is dancing in more complicated ways than ever nobody is trying to get rid of illusion that is your illusion okay bunny is saying playful very good it's all play nothing is serious here bipin is saying illusion is extremely engaging yes yes for the from the point of view of a human the creature takes a lot of pleasure in the illusion isn't it the, the other things are boring the truth is boring <laughs> there is nothing there bipin says i mean effort no benjamin illusion is the stage for all spirituality yes without it there are no there is no potential for any knowledge or any ignorance or anything sandhya has something temporary self takes the illusion as real but the permanent self knows everything is real no <laughs> the temporary self does not worry about real or unreal it simply worries about the survival and it takes that as real which is useful for survival it does not even know that it is an illusion okay it, it cannot distinguish between real and unreal permanent self knows everything no permanent self <laughs> use the words properly you see experiencer and it knows nothing the experiencer has no knowledge it is not concerned about what is real and unreal shilpi saying it is the manifested form of the experiencer and that is one more fact yes you should not say experiencer of existence it is the manifested form of the existence a lot of confusion today happening <laughs> Graham is saying it's a restriction of the whole. No, don't agree here. Also, infinite possibilities, although they are appearing one at a time, it looks like a restriction. Although it is human tendency to restrict, you know, human 
limitation but the whole is appearing as an illusion and it will appear whole of it will appear don't worry about it and it is already done so